Welcome back friends, welcome back to our Latvian homestead. In this video I just want to talk about our um, onion curing table rack thing. Um, this is the third year I think that we've used it, I built it three years ago. Um, I've kind of taken it for granted that everyone cures their onions this way and I found um, actually that's not the case and I, I put a tweet out last week um, showing the, the onions on the table and it's just a you know casual tweet and it got a huge response, um, hundreds of likes, nearly over 200 I think, and loads of retweets. And I've never had any tweet um, have that sort of interest before, so um, I thought it was worth making a video about. Um, I originally got the idea from um, a picture I think I saw of, of a guy who just had two bits of wood and um, two square bits, you know, about an inch square, five. Um, Two and a half centimetres square and he had some onions strung between and I thought oh that's quite a good idea um, and then I thought well that won't be enough for our harvest typical harvest so what else could I do and then um, I had a look round and found some bits of wood and sort of as things often happen here I put it together and sort of built upon it so um, let's have a closer look at the table and then I'll take you through how I built it and uh, go from there so the actual um, racks uh, are built from pine thinning so we're in the middle of a forest and we have to thin the forest to let the trees grow and you'll get the um, saplings and unwanted trees that grow in between and so you thin them out and then you end up with these um, long sticks so that you know they're just pine trunks young tree pine trunks um, and they're spread out down the length of the table and I've deliberately Put different size i mean obviously it's wood so it has natural um, curves and kinks in it anyway but i've tried to space it so you've got different size spacings in between for different size onions and as you as you'll see down the table that's the case um i, I can't remember if i like no last year's harvest was rubbish but the year before was really good and the whole table was full and um it was about 400, I think, 450 onions in total, but it obviously it depends on the sizes. Um, this is just our onion sets. We've still got um, our onions from seed still out there. They're taking a bit longer to be ready to harvest. Um, and then, of course, as I've gone along, I've just braced it um, with just some, a, a um, small piece of timber and some screws, just the same at the other end, or we'll sort of sandwich it between two pieces of timber and um, that works really well. Um, at the end here, so simple um, design really, what you'd expect. A um, two by four down strut and um, some cornering to support the piece of timber here and then um, support to stabilize it and a piece of old I mean it's all scrap wood um, from the barn or you know just lying around really um, unused so that keeps it I mean you know it's curved a little bit but it doesn't really matter um, and then underneath can't see it very well because of the light but there's two struts that come up and meet in the centre here um, and they're just angles for one to rest on the other to support the weight of the table in the middle um, and then the other end is exactly the same as the end we just looked at. Um, onion um, stalks hang underneath and they dry. Um, we're not looking really for them, it's about getting the skins right but um, you can see the air, there's plenty of room for the air to come underneath and uh, for the onions to dry on both sides which is really what you want for them to cure. To be weather's good today but um, when it's raining then we just put this tarp on and uh, we tend to cover it over at night as well just in case it rains overnight and just take it off in the morning um, and that that works well really I haven't used any um, preservatives at all on the table on the wood so um, it's obviously got a limited lifespan and that is somewhat determined by the weather when it's out we've had quite a few rainy days so the cover's been on quite a lot um, today's a really nice august summer's day um, for the rest of the year about 11 months it lives in a 
in the garage, in the barn, which I think you can see just over there. Um, and so it is out of the way of any really bad weather, but still you've got the natural moisture in the air. So um, there's a whistle stop tour, as it were, of the, of the table. Um, if you've got any specific questions, then by all means um, leave a comment below or contact us directly and um, ask away really. I hope the video is of some use to you and some inspiration. And like I said before, I was really surprised um, that uh, the response I got from that tweet. So anyway, um, there is our onion curing drying rack table thing. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.